So the South Australian Sea Conservation Centre was established here in 2002 and this was very much about working to save our threatened species using ex situ conservation, the role of seed banks to capture seeds, allow us to bank these seeds and then be able to use those in the future for reintroducing threatened species back out into the environment. So the aim of the South Australian Sea Conservation Centre is to bank our threatened flora in the short term while it's still available so we're trying to capture the biodiversity um, for those species we think are at risk in the short to medium term so we've banked about 72 73 percent of our state's threatened flora at this stage and we banked multiple populations where they exist and we're hoping to bank up to about 90 percent of our threatened flora by about 2025. We have to work out ways of germinating using environmental cues that we see such as fire or flooding and other sort of events. So the, the seeds from each species or each taxa of plants will have evolved um, to disperse and to germinate and have different dormancy mechanisms and they, they're so unique. They're, they're reacting with the environment, they're, um, they're sensing temperature, light, they're sensing moisture, they're sensing chemicals like smoke and they're actually um, recording what's going on in the environment, waiting for that cue for them to germinate. These species are important as part of habitat. They might be a food species, they might be a larval food for a particular rare species of butterfly. They might be food for a particular bird species. There is not, um, there's not another collection like this anywhere in the world. And it's, and it's to be able to capture the diversity of plant life in the state, um, of the native plants in this state, in in one small space I think is really amazing and we, we don't even know um, how these collections could be used in the future or what they might be important for. I think the collection is invaluable because we have um, seeds in there from, from plants where they no longer is, exist in the environment from where they were collected from so it becomes beyond um, anything that you can put a value on. If people had been collecting seeds 50 years ago, we would have species that are no longer here today. The SAC Conservation Centre relies on a number of volunteers to help with field collecting and help with lab work and help with the development of the webpage. Um, there are species that we didn't know existed in the state. There's species that we undescribed that we have in our seed bank that we would not have without our volunteers. Volunteers in botanic gardens and more specifically in the South Australian Seed Conservation Centre play a really critical role. One is they're bringing their expertise to the table, they're um, showing uh, community involvement and active participation in our conservation work and they add a real passion um, and an energy uh, to our work. And the other thing is what we're building through our volunteer program is these are champions, these are people that are out there in the community talking about the South Australian Seed Conservation Centre and telling our story to others so that people know the wonderful work we're doing around plant conservation.